Yeah, you found me! Man, how many of these guys are in the game? It seems like wherever I look, there's another Korok that I can <laughs> ruthlessly murder with this rock. <laughs> yeah, you, you just hold on to that, buddy. Hey, guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. As you can see, I have Rushrooms now, which means that this gear... If I can come to a stop. This gear is better than it ever has been before by defense. But usually if I get into a fight, I unequip this anyway, so it's kind of worthless. This time, starting off the episode, I would like to head over here. Because I was on the top of one of these spires a while back, a couple episodes ago, off screen. And I noticed that there was a shrine on top of a mountain. And that mountain, uh, back to map, and that mountain happens to be on the other peak so I think we should head over to that since it's kind of something that we could have done in our first run through of the area even though that's extremely unlikely considering how little stamina I had at the time but I I think that I would like to do that now starting off the episode uh, then I would like to jump over to, to Hitano village to uh, give our new house a little bit of furnishing since it is completely bare since we have not done anything beyond buy the property and have the house repaired. So that's my goal. And then, after that, we can continue with the story stuff by going to the heart of Death Mountain and facing Valridania, all that. And actually, it looks like I might not have enough stamina to do this, which would be unfortunate. Uh, actually, I'm, I may. Or don't. I don't think I do. Here, let's, let's think about this. Uh... Hmm. I guess I'm gonna have to go around. Oh, wait, no, no. Let's do this. Fly over there. No! Just jump over. Uh, I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, not gonna work. That's unfortunate. Now, this will be a little bit more difficult if I have to put on the warm doublet. Because it means I don't have access to my climbing powers. And my climbing powers have been ever so useful in this adventure. I would dare say that the climbing gear is the best gear to have. Because it has decent defense. It's not like the stealth gear. It, it can hold its own. It can help you traverse mountains, which are everywhere. I mean, it doesn't help... Oh. Uh, I guess I'll let him live. But it just helps with so much. Uh, I might want to... I, I should probably check out this ruin, just to make sure. Because there's usually always something... Whoa. Oh, it's you. Hello. Huh. This is a strange little cottage in the middle. Oh, a chest. Almost missed that. Very, very well designed. Uh, sure, actually. I was going to say that's completely useless, but... No, that's... That's not bad. It has durability up, so... I can at least do that. Cool Cephalina, or whatever it's called. Uh, also... I have been told that whenever there is an example of one of these little shrines with an apple in it, if I throw the apple into the other, the uh, the empty tray, I will get a Korok seed. So, yeah, I should be doing that. And then I can just get my apples back. Uh, or not. Apparently not. Oh, it's in sight. I'm so close. And it looks like I won't have to use my, my warm doublet either. All right, and I also missed that bird. But we're close. Now I'm not sure if this will be, if this shrine will be way out of our league. I mean, I'm feeling pretty good, or at least I have been the past couple episodes. I, I don't feel like there is much that could stat check me, outside of maybe a silver maned Lionel. There isn't much. Also, that's much further than I thought it would be. Oh, that's across the. Oh, that's across the gorge. Oh, that's problematic. Uh, I guess we'll. Uh, I guess that's not that bad. I'll just go up here and fly over uh, and of course of course it's too cold here I think I'm just going to heal through this because oh he hello I think I'm just gonna heal through this there's another Korok we've gotten what three of these this episode they really want to lay on the Koroks okay so let's fly over I don't have any stamina restoring stuff so this might be problematic Ooh, I'm... I'm wondering, guys. I don't have any stamina restoring things. Oh, that's bad. 
can I... Is there any place I can rest? No, it doesn't appear so. Oh, boy, this is kind of bad. I don't want to have to do all this again. Uh, I might be able to do this. I, You know what? It's a, a more gentle incline here. I might be able to do it. I have half my, my stamina bar left. My grip meter is being pushed to its full extent. I just need to get within one. Okay. Uh... Go up to that, I think. Here, do I? Let's make sure I don't have any stamina restoring things. Yeah, I have to cook that. Ooh, this is not good. That doesn't do anything for me. Let's. I can't stand there, but I might be able to stand there. And jump! No, I did it! I did it! I was able to discover it! Yes! That's that's exactly what I needed. I just got close enough to discover it, and now I oh no. And now I can't skip travel it to skip travel to it. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe it's because I'm out of stamina? No. No, it is not. You know, this looks like a boss. Doesn't it? Doesn't it look like a talus to you? This looks- it's a talus. Well, what do you know? At least- At least one good thing came of this. And I almost was able to just be on top of it, too. Oh, yay, yay. Jump on top. Jump on top. Man, wait a minute. Oh, that's- okay, that's a little bit new. Uh, switch- what am I doing? Switch weapons over to this. That's- that's kind of new, I guess. Uh, how? What would be the best way to kill this thing? Because it's on the back. That's odd. Maybe you just jump? Yeah, like that. Will it fall? Yeah, it'll fall. Well, that's kind of new. We'll just, I guess, kind of hit it awkwardly. Can't reach it. Can I jump and hit it? No. Uh, here. Let's just blow it up. I'm also w wondering if... What I wanted to get done this episode was a bit ambitious. Man, that would've hurt. And... Blow that up. Will that stun him? That'll stun him. That's interesting placement, though. Like, I can't really hit it easily. Here, I guess I'll just... I'll just do the time-honored staple... Of this... Yeah, this guy isn't too difficult. You hit it, hit it, and miss. Oh, he'll fall. He'll fall again. Okay, that's well. Then this guy's done. Uh, let's just run around behind him. And shoot it, shoot it, and he's done. Man, we are to the point. We are to the point that. I can face these things just no problem. I see one, and it's more its more of a chore than anything. It's just like, oh, man, it's another waste of my time. Uh, stone taluses, man. Man, coming up to this again, it's real. It's quite the optical illusion, isn't it? It looks like the, the shrine is just right at the top of this ridge. You know, you're almost there. Just keep going just a little bit more. You, you even see it here, and you're like, oh, man, it's just right up there. And then, and then, <laughs> and then, this happens, and <laughs> your heart drops, and dies a little bit inside, and you vomit in your mouth a, a, a bit. It's, it's not, it's not pretty. So this time, I'm going this way. And also this time, I have cooked up some stamina, uh, restoring foods. So I should be able to do that. I could probably do this just by jumping the entire way up, but I'm going to be smart. I also have a speed up elixir, which will be ever so useful. In fact, I'm thinking I might be able to restore some of my stamina here. Yeah. No. No. Just restore a little bit. There. Perfect. Perfect. This is going to be easy. I probably don't even need the 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 food this time I can do it well I mean I'm going to need food so I don't die but 
I don't think I need it. Yeah, I don't. I can jump the rest of the way. Yes! Hi. The sheer veneer shrine or whatever. Let's go! And now 22 minutes into the recording, but like five minutes into the episode, if, you, if future Tapal did his job correctly, let's conquer the shrine. Sh the shrines atop these peaks share a connection. Their memory, the answer to the other's question. Commit to memory before you start, lest a failure you will depart. Uh, I don't remember the other shrine on this peak. Let's, here, let me read that again, just to make sure. Shrines atop these peaks share a connection, their memory, the answer to the other's question. Commit to memory before you start, lest a failure you will depart. Okay. Okay, so... I probably need to write this down, don't I? Line one, the ball is in five. So I'll write that down, five. Line two, it's in three. So I'll write three. Line three, it's in one. So one. Line four, it is in four. And line five, the ball is in two. So it's five three one four two. Now let's go to the other shrine and see what they're talking about. And just to make sure, I will consult actually no, just to be sure, I'm gonna move this thing. What does that do? Yeah, it's a combination lock. Okay. So let me make sure. Uh, the memory the answer to the other's question. Commit to memory. Yes, okay. So I committed the memory. So let's depart and go to the other shrine. Yeah. Wait a minute. I don't remember that shrine. Oh! There is another shrine. What are you? She vaneth. Two for the price of one, Grandma. I guess we're not doing the, uh, the apartment, the house thing this episode. Twin Memories. Again, the sequel. The, the shrines atop these peaks share a connection. Their memory, the answer to the other's question. Commit to memory before you start, lest a failure you will depart. So how do I get up high? It's over there. Let's catch the elevator! And in line five, it is one. So now, it is four. And in five, it is two. I think that'll work. There it is! Yeah, yeah. I, I just got mixed up on what front was, but I think I got it here. So we did it? I mean, we did this one, but there's still one more to do. And is there any secret- I don't think there's a secret chest in these, so I just- I guess I'll just visit this. And now on the other shrine... Let's see, so... Trying to figure out what's front here. I think I- I think it- I- it, it's like this, so... That- that's front, this is the back. So... That would mean... One. I think I did that wrong the first time. But we'll see? Yeah, I think I did that wrong. Yeah, I did it wrong. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's an easy fix. That's a... Man, they... No two shrines ever feel the same. And I'm constantly impressed. Oh, I mean, these felt the same, but that was, you know, that was the that was the whole gimmick. Like, none of the gimmicks feel this similar. I love it. Now, that took a little bit longer than I thought. Wait, why am I... Oh, I have... Weapons that are on fire. That took a little bit longer than I thought, so we're not able to get... Ooh, that's nice. Uh, we're not able to get the the house stuff done this episode, but I think that I can cope with that. I can cope, and I think you guys can as well, with me pushing that to a later episode. Uh, let's use the frost spear. Okay, so let's go inside of Va Rudania. Very dark. Wow. Is it always going to be this dark? Let's switch over to a normal weapon. Kill that. Like, seriously, it is... 
uncharacteristically dark of this game to be this dark. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing Twilight Princess right now. A Dragon Bone Boko Club, not bad, but my inventory's full. Which means I should probably ditch something. Uh, we can, let's see. Uh, let's ditch the silver longsword that I just found randomly in, in the Zora's domain. Since that thing always seems to respawn, I can deal with losing it. Okay, so there are a bunch of chests everywhere. Will that open up the- I think that'll open up the light. Looks like it's blocking it. Whoa, almost got killed by a chest, okay. Sounds good. That's on the list of things I wanted to happen today, that was definitely on the to very top. Seriously, where is the light in here? We're like, we're in Tron. I don't actually want I probably, they're giving me a torch, so I probably need a torch. Uh, let's just, you know, drop this at our feet. Yeah. Open this. I think they even left some flint on the ground, maybe? Gets long throw. Okay, that's, that's so horribly specific. Uh, how do we... Wait, wait, wait. I could probably just walk outside and light this thing, right? Here, let's let's try that. Instead of me taking out flint, or am I locked in? Oh, I'm locked in. I am locked in this place. Oh, wait, there's blue fire. Oh. I walked right past it. What is... What is wrong? There we go. The link was really... That was a graphical glitch or something, because I was bright red. Okay, so I have the blue flame. And they gave this torch long throw. Which makes me wonder why I need a long throw torch. Uh, let's... Ah, this thing's probably easy. Yeah, this thing's easy. So I guess the, the gimmick of this dungeon is that we're supposed to light everything up. Link's still silhouette, even though he has the torch right above him. That's odd. Yeah, the game is, is not really liking what's happening here. What was that? What was that noise? Was it you? Are you making noises over there? Well, just hold your horses. I need to light something. Oh, yeah, it is you. Okay. Well, I, I guess I'll blow that thing up and blow you up. So you can, can't make those edgy sound effects anymore. There's a chest. Here, let's go grab that torch, wherever it is. Man, being, being in Tron is weird. I'm also red again. Let's see. Is there a torch near that chest that would make things a little bit more convenient? There is. Cool. Okay, let's open this chest. Find something cool, presumably, like a knight's bow. That's not bad. I needed a bow. Why do I... I think it's the shield. I'm pretty sure it's the shield that is making me red. Here, before I, I light that thing up... I just want to explore, make sure that I'm not missing anything. The game would do that. They would put a chest right behind and make me miss the opportunity, but I guess not. Now, will this give me cool flashlight powers? That would be nice. Sheikah Slate Authenticated, Distilling Map of a Divine Beast. Read the Sheikah Runes. All your base are belong to us, and we get the wonderful powers of moving the dungeon around. Presumably. Okay, we get we got the map. We can tilt things, apparently, according to the map. So what does that actually do? Nice job getting the map of the divine beast. The terminals that control Rudania are noted by the glowing points on your map. To take back Rudania, you'll need to activate all of the terminals. You got this, little guy. Air light. Wonderful light. How I have missed you. How I have not wanted this torch. Man, the thing really does go far. Okay, so this dungeon is an actual dungeon. What are we doing here? There's weird purpley stuff, which, yeah, it does hurt me when I touch it. Uh, let's see. Where should I start? Well, I guess I, guess I should start by going in back and getting my items. Like this. Okay, so where are we... I, I guess I should also... I should check the map. So I can tilt... Nine, what am I tilting, though? 
Whoa, what? Oh, I'm... Oh, oh boy. I'm tilting the entire thing. Well, that's cool. Let's kill him. Get around here. So, there's one of the runes. Uh, let's see. How do I want to do this? I think... How I want to do this is get onto this... This beam? Let's see. I guess we should go all the way up it first before I rotate the thing. I, I do have an opportunity to get a rune by rotating it, but first I'll do this. Use this bow on you. And be able to walk past, which opens the opportunity to... Kill that. Sure. Sure. I'll do that. You, where'd you go? Where, where did you go? I saw you. For a moment there. Uh, can I climb this? Can I? No, I can't. Okay, so let's rotate the, the map back. And it looks like we may be asked to light that thing with the blue fire. In which case, we need the torch back. Ah, oh, man. That's... That's disappointing. Let's jump up there. Get over here. And fly up onto the weird... Opening. Hmm, where am I supposed to go here? There... You know what? I'm gonna jump back inside. Because... I, I think I actually need that torch, which is bad because I have no clue where that thing went because I tipped the entire map on its head. Uh, is it over here somewhere? There's the sword. But where is the torch? Well, there's a chest, but is it's not a torch. Yeah, it's an arrow. Uh... Actually, you know what? Wait, I think I have a fix for this. Light that. And then walk all the way back with my blue arrow. I think that'll work. That sounds legit, right? Right. Let's walk all the way back here. And it went out. Oh, boy. This is not looking good. Well, we'll start just by lighting this, and hopefully we'll find another torch, or else I'm... I think I'm in trouble. Let's slam the door open. I said... Oh, wait. Is it a push door? It's a push door. Why don't they just put a sign that says push? That's how what all the businesses are doing nowadays. There are four terminals... Cool. I don't need to hear from you. Uh... Looks like there's a chest up there. So let's not waste a fire arrow. Shoot that thing. And what's gonna drop? Another chest! Man, this place is just rife with loot. Please be a torch. It's an ancient gear. Uh, boy. Where is the torch? Is it there? No. Man, where could that thing have gone? Certainly it's not just right next to the sword and I've been missing it the whole time. No. Huh, you see that? That's that's one of the terminals right there, so... In theory... Oh, wait, what was in here? Should probably check. It was the bow, right? Yeah, it was the... Oh, it was more arrows, okay. So, in theory, I should be able to just rotate the map. And then... Jump down there. Right? Yeah! Very easy terminal. There are three term and there are three remaining. Okay. I'm getting into the swing of this. Let's jump over there. And let's see. Let's see the thing I was going to do earlier. So, while on this... We can rotate the map back. And that way, I can get this chest. 
Okay, what's inside? Another knight's bow! Which I can actually pocket, surprisingly. Okay, let's... Let's rotate the map back. So that... Let's see, what is... We need one of those orange balls, so... I guess we'll go outside? And see if we can find one of them there? Man, this... This map, I don't think, has nearly the complexity of the... The, uh, Varuda... Dungeon, because... With this, there are only two positions. On that one, there are like 15. Uh, there's one of the skull things right there. Where was that eye? Oh, there he is. Here, let's kill that thing. Maybe? There. Shot it right through. And now the way is clear. Oh no! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh no! Please flip back! Oh boy, I fell through a hole. Oh, okay. Okay then. Oh man, I almost, in fact, I think I had like three heart attacks on the way. Is this, this is the main one, isn't it? Oh no. Oh wait, it, it is the main one. Yeah, I thought so. Oh man, I, I almost died there. It would have fallen right into the lava. It would have been terrible. Okay, let's go back to where I was. Whoa! Oh wait, this isn't where I was. This is something different. It looks like... It looks like I'm going to cause that... The ball to roll down here, and I'm going to have to race it, and raise the... The little thing. So that it doesn't roll away. I think that's what I need to do. Which means that the ball is presumably this direction. Here, let's rotate the map back. There's another one of the blue uh, torches here. Oh, 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 oh. I need to bring the blue light here, which means I need the stupid torch. Uh. Uh. Do I just need to find it? I think I just need to find it. Oh, hello. This ain't a torch, but it's something? It's a bunch of fire. Here, can I, can you please, thank you. Let's light the, these leaves. Let's see what drops. Yeah, it's one of you, okay. So from there, I'll use this to do something. Oh, I know what I need to do. I know what, exactly what I need to do. Flip the map. And then, this fire is no longer er, vertical, so I can place it right there. Walk right by. Now I'm thinking with portals. And now I need to move the map back. And we have another terminal. Man, this thing is just going r right by. It would have been much quicker if had I not thrown the torch away. Because, you know, I didn't think I would need it. But it's still going rather quickly. And let's see, where are we on time? Should I, pro I should probably end the episode here. Yeah, I'm going to end it here. Just because I'm not exactly sure where... We are on time, and if I'm not sure, that means we're over time. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today in any, capa any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I could make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday, and jo join me next time when we presumably finish up this dungeon. See you guys then! Sublevel 13. Dream Den. Well, this isn't the last floor. So that's good. And it's fairly linear? Ugh. Odd. I'm guessing as soon as he fires it, he's gonna lower his guard. Which I should probably not have this arrow. Maybe not. Oh boy. Ow. That hurt. 